Hey guys, welcome back to Bronis' Math Club. Today's topic is dividing a decimal by a decimal. Now, in our previous video, we talked about dividing by whole numbers, and that was a fairly easy topic. Well, this is like almost pretty much the same like amount of easiness in this, I guess. But this time, you're dealing with decimals, and so like maybe we have a problem. Let's say um, 3.5 divided by 0.7. We're going to start off with an easy problem. So we have 3.5 divided by 0 0.7. Now, I know, even myself, I can get confused with the decimal points. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with them? Because, you know, they're like, okay, if you were to put this or like over here, 3.5 divided by 0 0.7, you wouldn't really know what you're supposed to do. Because even if you were to do, like, 7 divided by 3, then you have decimal point. It gets all confusing. Well, there's really nothing to be confused about because it's really easy. All you have to do is you take the decimal point. Your goal is to make your divisor, which is the 0.7, a whole number. So what can you do to make that a whole number? Well, you can move the decimal point. So you take that decimal point and move it one space to make it a 7. Now, you have to do the same thing that you did to the divisor to um, your dividend. So since you moved it only one space from left to right, you're going to move the decimal point in your dividend from left to right one space. So that would become a 35. Now you have 35 divided by 7. So if we have 35 divided by 7, we know that 35 divided by 7 equals 5. So that was really easy, right? How about we have a problem that is maybe 24.6 divided by... 3.2. Alright, 24.6 divided by 3.2. Once again, you have to make the divisor a whole number. So you take that and you move it one space from left to right to make it a 32. Do the same thing to 24.6. Um, one space. So that becomes 246. Now, once again, we're going to do like whole number division. 246 divided by 32. So you write this over here, 246 divided by 32. First number is 2. Can you divide 32 by 2? No. How about you combine the next number, so now it becomes a 24. You still can do 24 divided by 32. So what you're going to do is you're going to combine the last number, which is 246. So now it becomes 246 divided by 32. You can do that. So you're going to have to come up with a number that you can multiply by 32 to get 246. So what we can do is write the times table of 32 over here. So 32 times 1 is 32. 32 times 2 is 64. Now we know that's a big number. So if we even were to write the entire times table, we still find our answer. That takes us a long time. How about we skip up to maybe 32 times 5? So that equals 160. 32 times 6 equals 192. 32 times 7 equals 224. So as you can see, we're catching up now. 32 times 8 equals 256. Oh, look. 256 is greater than 246. We cannot do 20, 32 times 8. So we're going to have to do 32 times 7, which equals 224. So 32 times 7 equals 224. Subtract 6 minus 4 equals 2. 4 minus 2 equals 2. 2 minus 2 equals 0. And we cannot divide 22 divided by 32. So what we're going to have to do is bring this up here, add an R for the remainder, 22. That means the quotient of 246 divided by 32, or the original problem, which was 24.6 divided by 3.2, equals 7 remainder 22. Now that was, um, it might have seemed a little complicated to some of you, but honestly, this is a very easy chapter. As long as you um, keep on practicing, you'll get this right. So I hope you guys um, learned something from this. And we're going to be having more um, coming up videos on this chapter um, as a summary. So you can watch that to learn more about this topic. And we'll see you guys next time.